Glückwunsch. Fish price. So honestly, so what I do is I pull the power on the NES so that I can put it on its back so that I can put pressure on it enough to pull the game out, which is crazy. Uh, all right, we are going to reset our timer. We're going to update our stream info. This one's Firehouse Rescue. Fisher Price, I can remember. Fisher Price, perfect fit. Fisher Price, Firehouse Rescue. It's not a game show anymore. It is a blind play. Uh, we do not want spoilers. We're going to do no spoilers. And done. And this one's an estimated time. The average game time for Firehouse Rescue is about 18 minutes. That's quite a bit longer than the 11 minutes, but actually the Fisher Price Perfect Fit only took us seven, seven and a half minutes. So, all right, this one's estimate is a lot longer. Uh, ready, set, go. Select a level. I guess we're gonna do them all just like last time, right? Alrighty, is this for real? Okay, I think it's for real. <laughs> do I do anything else other than drive? Okay, alright. Oh, I gotta get the cat down. So far, so good. <laughs> oh, we're gonna save the day. We are going to save the day. We don't need to go to the store. We just need to go to the house. Do we need to save this person? Yep. Oh, we need to save more people. Level two, we save two people. We're going to try to run through this as fast as possible. <laughs> All right. So do I have to get gas or something? No, I don't. Ah. We took the right way. That was nice. Gotcha. Where to? Left or right? Killing it. We're killing it. A lot of roundabouts. A lot of circles in this uh, neighborhood. Nope. Got to go up. I'm going to try to do them all correctly. Yield left. Go right. Come on. <laughs> oh, this is my life now. Nice. We made it to the force. Lap two and a half minutes for level one. Where's the house at? Oh, is that it down there? Hmm. Oh man, level three and four are gonna be crazy. Oh, oh, it's not flashing. I went to the wrong house. That would be bad. <laughs> level three and four are gonna be crazy. This game needs more flames. Oh, the other house is on fire now, too. Yeah, I know. No music, right? 
I was actually surprised when I was playing Pugsley Scavenger Hunt that there was no music in Pugsley, just the beginning and end. Um, oh, and when you beat a boss, there were three pieces of music, and they didn't play any of those three while you played the game. Oh yeah, it's definitely hard to keep the hype up when there's no in-game music. Like playing in dead silence, like it's it's hard to keep people <laughs> interested. <laughs> that house is not flashing. That is a gas station. That is a store. Okay, we're looking for the house that we need to. Yeah, do you know what I need to intense? Yeah, I need to pull up. The... I need to make a point of like get some video game music going in the background just in case some games don't have music because there's especially a lot of the uh, unlicensed games there's just no audio just uh, beeps and bloops when you're running around and getting hit by stuff all right to the other house Get her! Get her! Oh my gosh! And same same thing. Need to play music over that. Get like Journey to Silius and pl just play that theme uh, instead of their whatever one song that they play the entire game. <laughs> yeah. Press to try your third rescue in level two. All right. I see this house is in. Could use some aid. I'm gonna check up here first see if we can get in through there underneath yeah we can oh which game mermaids of atlantis i'm trying to think which ones don't have music little red hood oh my gosh uh and actually i don't know if i own that i'll have to check i think i do i think i do own little red hood i haven't played it though so it sounds like a, it's either a recommend or a highly recommend from you, Skateman. All right, to the other house. All right, looks like we can't, oops. Oh, it's a highly recommend. <laughs> oh, no. I thought I could get there. I can't. Oh my gosh, I can't even read that. What you wrote. <laughs> Skate, make. I may have may not may or may not have spent way too much time running that game. That's uh every time I hear author blues talk about a game he's playing, he's like, I hate my life. Ah, oh, we're lieutenant. Level three. Oh, I, I don't see your emote for some reason. No. Oh, now we have a timer? This is crazy talk. All right, so we need to get back to that other house. There's this house. Go. Boo. Oh, yeah. I'll check. Well, eventually I'm going to check it out. But if uh, what's like a casual playthrough, what's a first playthrough time for that, that game for Little Red Hood? A blind playthrough. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I mean, so I guess the difficult part here for this game, if we're going to say anything is difficult about it, it would be going to the right, finding the right place to go.
That actually, I wonder, did, do you know if, um, that, oh, that podcast, it ended last year, but do you know if that podcast, The Frame Savers, ever covered Little Red Hood? Because that all sounds very familiar. Oh, do you know what? Maybe I did see it on AVGN. That might have been it. Um, I haven't caught... I know he still makes stuff, and I haven't caught any, really, most of his most most recent stuff, except he did the Home Alone episode with Macaulay Culkin. But I used to watch him pretty regularly. I really enjoyed his stuff. Oh, the Frame Savers? Yeah, like I said, it ended in January of 2019. Um, but if you can take the, the podcast for what it is and not get into details about why it ended... Um, then, I mean, I really think it was an excellent, excellent podcast. I've been going back and listening to the backlog that I hadn't listened to before, and there's hours and hours and hours of content there, and I uh, love it. It's what I listen to in the car when I drive from here to work, and um, so I go, I only go into work a couple days a week, but it's a good 25-minute drive, and, um, you know, I it's essentially one and a half round trips to work per podcast so I, i've been getting a lot of runway out of that that podcast all right i see a house now how do we get down there all right we need to go up and around we need to get there so far i don't see how to get there oh my goodness all right 35 seconds to figure out how to get there Okay, so not that. Was this the one, or was that the one? That's the one. No, it was the top one. Oh no, I hope we have enough time. We can do it. Woo! It's not, not trivial to get there in that amount of time. <laughs> Yes, yeah, no, very good podcast, very good podcast. I, yeah, honestly wish, um, excellent work, we're captains. Yeah, I honestly do wish they continue to make those um, at some at some point, they, that they pick it back up or something like that. No. Okay, we have got to find where to go. So we're lieutenants, where, there's only, we, we, there's only up to go from there. Oh wait, a key. Okay. So do we have to find a key and the house now? Oh, okay. Well, I I know I've seen it somewhere, so it must have been AVGN if you're saying that angry video game nerd nerd did it. Kind of like him, you know, kind of like the phrase Simpsons Simpsons did it. Like AVGN, he's got a video on tons and tons and tons of games. He's already done it. All right. So there's the other house. Do we need a key though for it? We do, and there it is. Okay, so we need to get there. Okay, one, two, around there, down to the right. Whoops, whoopsie daisy. So we need a key to this house, even though we're sending a ladder to the second floor and they're crawling out. Get with it, Fisher Price. All right, second round. Okay, we've got two. There's a house. I haven't seen a key yet. 38 seconds. There's the key. There's the house. I think I saw it flashing too. Oh. Yeah, after this I'm going to 
try to, like I said, I'll put on um, a game to just kind of go in the background. And uh, I'll probably grab a quick snack. It won't be too long, just a few minutes. Um, but I'll get world-class track meet set up. And like I said, at some point, we're going to get muscle put back in. That is not an easy game. Mostly, I think there might be a lot of baloney built into the, <laughs> the gameplay for muscle. It always seems that in that round three, it always seems like the computer gets first dibs to all the power pellets. I don't even know what they're called. We got to look up their, the, the book, the game's manual. Yes. Yes. All right. So there's a house. Yep. We need a key. Haven't seen it yet. Let's go down this way. Nope, I haven't seen it yet. Anything here? Dead end? No. There's the house. Oh my gosh, there's the key. How to do, how to do. Oh my gosh, had we gone just straight down. I don't know that we're going to make it. So there's that. How to get there? Five, four, three, no, two, no, one. You gotta do it again. You gotta try the rescue again. We're gonna go straight down. There's the key now. All right, I see it. So we actually came from there last time. So right through here. I know. Sweet. That one I can get to. <laughs> this part <laughs> this part is meaningless. It's just uh it's just the filler between the having to find the houses, the key in the house. We need another key. There it is. Awesome. How to get there. All right. We need to be one row below us. So we need to be up on the top of that. Okay. We need to be up. Oh, I see. Up there. No, no. We need to be up there. Can we get over there? Yes, we can. 25 seconds. Come on. All right, we saved Poindexter and his wife. Daughter? Other wife? Poindexter's son, definitely. Seventeen twenty-five. GG. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yep, that was it. <laughs> to quote Darbian, that was it. That was it. <laughs> Seventeen twenty-five. We have beaten eight games today.